My name is George Comiskey and I'm the Associate Director for the Center for the Study of Addiction and Recovery and I'm also an instructor in the CFAS department, the Community Families and Addiction Services Department. My Associate Director role is, my, is out in the community program so I go out into the community and work with schools and with agencies and anyone who is looking at trying to, to understand uh, what addiction and, and prevention of addictions can be uh, and help them out. Uh, as far as in the department, I teach the courses, a basic addiction course, a relationship and addiction course, a prevention of addiction, and a couple of seminars, uh, community seminars. I think the place that I have the most interest in change is looking at the continuum of addiction and seeing uh, how early influences, trauma, um, the support of family and community has on someone's development and how someone will uh, eventually get to the point where they just don't have a sense of any other options but to use drugs or other kinds of addictive behaviors to, to get through. So that's really where my main area of interest is, is in that early uh, developmental stages and how uh, prevention can be uh, you know, put in place and reinforced in a person's life. I just want every person that ever wants to get any help to have a place especially somebody who wants to go back to school. Um, it, it can be really challenging for someone who has uh, struggled with an addiction issue to, to get back and, and engage their life, especially the educational part of their life. And, um, Texas Tech has been uh, in the center uh, and the CFAS department now have really been key in providing an opportunity for people to re-engage their life in the fullest extent. This is our second year to go to Ghana. We took a group of students from here at the Center for the Study of Addiction and Recovery. This time when we went, we stayed in a pretty much centralized local uh, in the capital of Accra. And in, the, in that uh, opportunity to stay in one place, we were uh, able to go to the treatment center, the House of St. Francis, to the Oxford House, which is a halfway house, to uh, uh, Chosen Rehab, which is a kind of a community uh, outreach in the, in the really uh, hard places in Accra where, where there's a lot of poverty and a lot of addiction. We got a chance to really formulate some relationships and really infuse what we do here as around the 12 steps and the recovery uh, aspect of what we do into, into Ghana. We got to introduce what recovery can look like uh, through our students and then what are the steps to help people get there. I think it's important uh, for us as staff uh, to, to see that what we're doing here in the United States and in Lubbock um, can transfer uh, to other communities. So I, I think that our trips over there, one, have been a support for the people that are there in what they're trying to do in opening up to a different way of addressing addiction than how it's traditionally been dealt. And then to give us an opportunity to open our students and our own eyes to, to what are some of the possibilities of working with people who have never uh, had um, an understanding of, of addiction as a disease, as a brain disease, that the brain actually changes when somebody is under the, the influence of an addiction, and, and as it changes over time, it's gonna need help, uh, maybe medically, uh, maybe pharmaceutically, but also through new relationships and a new way of living their life. And, and they need to have people there, uh, like our students and the people that we, we bring over there, that they see, wow, there's a possibility, there's hope that something can be different. Thank you.